right, y'all. I'm going to try to get through this. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of construction going on behind me. So, I want to talk about um, my nine-month update. Um, I want to start off with my symptoms. Of course, um, the pains. It's almost like that never goes away. Um, and it all seems to be normal. So, um, the pains um, that I'm having um, are like... Um, the main one is, is like in my groin area. Like it feels like I'm, I'm doing a split and don't know how to do a split. Like, like those of you that can't do a split, like imagine somebody like forcing you to do a split. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And it, it hurts a lot. Um, sleeping. basically doesn't <laughs> basically doesn't exist like I can fall asleep but it's not gonna last long because of the discomfort or the pains and it's just it's hard to sleep um the thing that I tried to avoid but y'all saw in um my full term video um <laughs> but it still showed up anyway was the is the hemorrhoids but um all I know is that it's painful. So, I have found, um, like, a bit of a remedy for that. I've been, um, <laughs> I've been drinking lots of milk. And, of course, it's <laughs> that forces me to go <laughs> to the bathroom. So, the milk has been helping me with that a lot. I had my first nine-month, um, appointment. And... It's like I kicked nine months off with high blood pressure. So my blood pressure um, is up, which explains the swelling that I've been having going on. Um, like swelling like in my feet, in my legs. Like in my legs so bad that my shins hurt. Like really bad. Um... And then my hands and my arms. And then my face. So it, it's it's like really bad. Um, so yes, yeah, so my blood pressure has been high. So when my blood pressure went up, I was immediately sent to the hospital for um, non-stress testing. And I have been ordered to go to the hospital to labor and delivery for monitoring um, twice a week until the baby comes. With all of that going on, they did um, all these extra um, ultrasounds and stuff. So they measured the baby. The baby's measuring like, um, like five pounds. So with the blood pressure and stuff up, my doctor's basically been trying to like, um, prepare me for like an early delivery or whatnot if things you know don't change or whatnot and that the baby is going to be on the small side and of course I'm thinking like you know they said AJ was um was small and he came out eight pounds so yeah so the other thing um is heartburn which is is i'm starting to feel like it's inevitable too because i try to keep that away which I, i'm still doing a good job with it like um i just i still it still shows up but um but milk milk has been my friend this pregnancy it really has um sleeping arrangements when i was pregnant with aj um at the end of my pregnancy i ended up sleeping um on the recliner and it wasn't fun really anywhere i would sleep wasn't fun because i i was never comfortable i mean you have a human being growing inside your midsection and it it hurts it's uncomfortable and you can't breathe and it's heavy and yeah 
So, basically, I'm back to the recliner. <laughs> I'm back to the recliner. Um, more so, really, I've been trying to do the couch. Because at least the couch, you know, it's a sectional. So, I can lay, like, in the corner and, like, still, like, you know, sit up. Um, so, I'm not dealing with heartburn so bad or I'm not struggling to get up. Because laying down and trying to sit back up is difficult. So, um, so being able to like lay my head on the couch while I'm sitting up helps a lot. I have started maternity leave. So my plan is to be on leave for, um, 12 weeks. That's about how long I was out with AJ. So, um. And I was still sad to go back to work. Like, I, I I cried. I cried all the way till I walked into the door. And I had to hurry up and suck up the tears so nobody would see me crying like a little baby. But I didn't want to leave my baby. So, yeah. So, I'm on leave. So, I'm going to use this time to rest and get ready for baby. And so, that's the plan. And that's what's going on with nine months we are almost there almost there right now we're at the end of november so i got a few more weeks until baby arrives in december and wow i'm gonna have another kid in the house wow aj aj trying to get into everything Say hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's not just this. <laughs> it's taking a while today. Hmm. That should count for something. I'm trying to make my juice and I'm about done. <sighs> Just left my daughter's appointment. see the bruise right now but yeah so I had to get blood drawn in my arm that already has a bruise 